everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel, Lady of Huntington. Good morning everybody, it is Saturday here in Tassie and it is 10.48. The weather outside is shocking. Well, it's not raining or windy, but it's just very, very um, cloudy and very misty, I think is the word I would call it. Well, today we're actually um, staying home from the boat. We're going down tomorrow. Simon is over at the shed melting down some lead to make some ingots to put in the boat um, for our ballast. So we'll go over and say hi to him in, the, in a minute. We had a friend up last night for dinner and we had pizza. So I'm just heating Simon up some um, leftover pizza and taking it over because he may be a little hungry. So I'll do that and take you over and say hi to him. You want some pizza? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's what you've got to melt down. Hmm. <laughs> So what Simon is doing here, on top of the forge there, he has this really big pot. It's a cast iron pot. And he's putting in all of the bits and pieces that you saw earlier in the big pile of lead. He's been melting that down. So that's what he's doing. And I think this is an oxycetylene torch or, or something like that. He will correct me if I'm wrong. And he said that's the fastest way to actually melt this down. I think underneath he's also got the coals going. So it's keeping the heat consistency underneath also because it solidifies quite quickly. So we don't want that to happen. It's got to be continually hot enough to be melting things. And as that lead starts to actually melt down, he will continually add more in. However, he doesn't want to get too much liquid in that pot because he's still got to manage to lift it off and to pour it into the mold. Now, this is really quite heavy, um, which is why people use it as ballast in their boats. So he's going to continue melting this down till it becomes um, a weight you know in, in the pot that he knows that he can actually handle he's going to remove it it's going to be really really hot and um, then he's going to pour it in some molds that we'll see here very shortly and that's all the silicon and impurities and rubbish that's paint and all that sort of stuff All that that you've just taken out. Yeah. All the stuff that doesn't turn into liquids, impurities. Thank 
boiling hot liquid lead. How long does that take to solidify? Um, very long. And, and then it turns it. into these. It's already started, like oh. five or six minutes. Oh, wow. that's good. You still be liquid underneath. That one will top that one up. That one will top it up to halfway. Don't fill it. Too heavy. Each one of those thread tins is nearly 20 kilos. Those other ones would be about 30. So the small one is about 20. 20. And how? About 30 for the big ones. Wow. It's amazing. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.